Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Anti Birth Eden Strikes of Me Penta. Take a quick drink of my cola as I prepare to dominate the game again for the 54th time in a row. Dude, Jonas Fatson. IRL, my boy, Mr. Jonas Fatson, one of my best buddies here on the platform and someone who I've been promoting for the. since the beginning of time. Someone who all of you should be subscribed to on YouTube. Anybody watching this video. I don't give a shit if you watch his videos. I talked about this in a pre in a previous anti-birth run or a previous afterbirth plus run. I don't care if you watch his videos. He's over there on my homepage channel. You go to my my channel page, click on the Penta Hybrid channel page, go to the right side of the channel. Libra. Go to the right side of the channel. That's a great first item. And you'll see recommended channels or love, show these people some love or some kind of bullshit. It's a list of channels. There's like Alexa's over there. I believe I have Widzy over there. It's just like, it's a collection of channels that are here that I small rock that I love and support and want you guys to support as well. Jonas Fatson, click on that channel name, give him a follow. Give him a subscript, or rather give him a subscription. I'm, I'm in Twitch mode, I just got done streaming. Uh, <laughs> and give him some love, all right? He is so close to getting to a thousand subscribers. And our buddy Epoch Matt, or Epic Matt, as, you know, heathens pronounce it. Uh, he just made it to a thousand subs recently as well. And, uh, for those that are behind on the YouTube times, that's horrible. Actually, that's incredible because it's an all stats up from Libra. I'm taking it over the blue candle for the all stats up. Um... <clears throat> those that are behind on the YouTube times, on like the YouTube news and the algorithm and crap like that, you actually cannot be considered a partner anymore on YouTube unless you have a thousand subs and I believe it's 4,000 watching hours in the past month. And once you reach that point, it's kind of like Twitch partnership. Once you reach that point and you pass that milestone and they, they give you the badge, you earn it permanently. Even if you have a bad month, you still have it permanently. Uh, Bloody Lust is so good with Libra. But, uh, what that means, for those that don't understand, is technically, as a person who doesn't have YouTube partnership anymore, and they took it away from a lot of creators, so it's not something like you're grandfathered in. They changed the rule, and they actually took partnership away from people. Jonas, my friend, is no longer even able to earn money from his channel's videos anymore. And granted, and I, if he's watching this... I hope he understands that it's kind of just you have to say these kinds of things. He's a very small channel. Like, he's a very small channel. He's had a couple of really, really big videos, and I love his channel. I Probably one of the people sitting here that's actually watched multiple, multiple, multiple of his videos. Stuttered a little bit there. It's okay. We're fine. We're not dying. I didn't have a stroke. I loved his Spelunky series. Watched every single episode. I loved his Isaac series. I watched mostly every episode. I watched, I caught up as much as I possibly could. I'm taking that cat. Fuck yeah. Um, and so, I just want you guys to understand that while he's a small channel, and he is a small channel, it lo you lose motivation when you can no longer justify a reason for doing it. And I hate saying that because for the longest time, and I still kind of say this to this day, YouTube is not meant to be a job. It is not meant to be a job. No one should start YouTube to make it as a job. But in today's day and age, if you're doing it and you've been doing it a long time and you have made some reasonable success doing it, fuck, my channel's tiny compared to most channels nowadays, but I have a reasonable amount of success. I could technically quit my full-time job and do a part-time job, as well as YouTube and Twitch, and be fine. The only thing is that I actually love my full-time job. I love, I like working. I'm a, I like working. And I'm sure it's the same with Jonas. Like, neither of us want to be full-time streamers, full-time YouTubers. But the idea of doing it as a part-time and having it as a business that you make income from is kind of like owning, like, a bakery store. Like, granted, you, you probably still have other shit you're doing, but... It's a passion project. It's it's something that you enjoy doing, right? Y'all know how that is. Anybody who's ever made money from anything that they enjoy doing as a passion project makes it 100% worth doing it for... I'm losing my brain right now. 
Y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Jonas, and I feel like him uploading videos again is awesome because it gives me something to watch. I fucking love watching his videos because I can barely ever catch his streams. But, uh, what I'm trying to say is he uploaded a video the other day. Today, actually. He uploaded a video. He's starting to do his Isaac shit again. That makes me happy because I love watching him play the game. I love watching him play games. And he's doing Eden Streaks right now. You should go watch him. Um, while you're over there, hit the subscribe button. To a set to how do I say this? To feel motivated in doing something as a passion project, you don't need to be making money doing it. And I'm a perfect example of this. I was not relevant on YouTube until about a year and a half ago. I was not relevant on streaming until about well, okay, that's not that's that the stream one we're gonna leave out of here because. I've streamed under two different channels. One of them was way more successful than what I am right now, and now the one that I'm doing right now is just kind of building. But, uh... We'll take the Pentahybrid Twitch channel, for, for instance. Cons compared to where I was a year ago, I've grown exponentially, and that's because I push myself. I make myself a better person, and... Up until June of last year, a year ago, I wasn't even able to even monetize my shit. Unless people directly donated to me. No, there were no bits, there were no subs for people like me. It wasn't until last year that the affiliate program came out and you were actually able to make a sizable amount of money compared to just, like, random donations from people that were on stream. And while those things can still happen, and Twitch chat is still incredibly gracious with the amount of money that I get, uh on my monthly basis. Uh, small amount compared to some of the other streamers out there, especially the full-timers that make, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month to be able to live off of it. And, Lord praise it, if I get to that point, I will not complain. However, Jonas, back to the root of the exact conversation, I, I get on tangents, guys, you understand this, this is why you come here. Jonas needs to be able to monetize his channel. I don't understand I don't think you really understand until I actually like force it down your damn throat. Jonas needs to be able to monetize his channel. And you guys can help us do that. You guys can help us do that. You guys can get us there. So that's that's pretty much the root of the thing here is go to Jonas Fatson, hit the subscribe button, watch his videos if you wish. And I'm saying that as a friend of his. No one needs to watch every video of his. Fuck, I don't watch every video of his. Y'all don't watch every video of mine. You don't need to watch every video. But you do you should subscribe to his channel, support the man, support a friend of mine. And not only that, but allow him to reach that milestone because the views that's no problem. He can get the 4,000 views. You guys don't understand how much 4,000 or 4,000 hour uh, minutes of watch time. It's not 4,000 views. It's 4,000 minutes of watch time, I think. Which y'all want some real life? Want some real life analytics for just how easy that is to achieve YouTube partnership nowadays? Except for the thousand subs. Let's go. Let's let's do some real life analytics. Let's go to my views of watch time in the past seven days past seven days you need 4,000 minutes or 4,000 uh, minutes of watch time in one month in 30 days you need 4,000 minutes of watch time to achieve partnership my minutes of watch time in the past seven days since the first of August is 315,964 and that's actually down 11% from my previous week. Let's go this week. Sunday to today. Let's actually just go today. Can I just do today? Today through yesterday? So let's go to the 6th of August to the 7th of August and apply. Just... Oh my god. Just for... What day would that be? That would be Tuesday? No, that's Monday. Just for Monday. Just for Monday. One day. 
Remember, you need 4,000 view minutes in a month to achieve partnership. In 30 days, just on Tuesday, Monday, excuse me, just on Monday of this week, 62,832 minutes of watch time. So it's not that hard. All we have to do is push him to the 1,000 sub limit. You guys can get him there. I believe in you. There's at least 300 people that are going to watch this video. I guarantee at least 80% of you aren't sub to his channel because if 300 of you were sub to his channel, he'd be over a thousand right now. Let's get him there. Come on, guys. You can just sub to him. It's free. You're not going to be spammed in your freaking subscription folder. YouTube's broken anyway. Subscribing to him is completely perfect for you. <sighs> also, I just noticed that I have eight, officially crossed 1,800 videos on my channel. The anti-birth video I uploaded yesterday with the random personal rant in it was my 1,800th video on YouTube. That's actually a little emotional for me. 1,800 videos. Christ. I remember when I crossed 100 and I was like, I feel like I've released too many videos. Jesus. Here's to another 1,800, man. Hopefully we, uh... Continue have, like, no offense to anybody watching, because I love you guys, you know I do. But I, I hope I have a reason to continue uploading videos, because YouTube's going down the shitter. We all know that YouTube's going down the shitter. And, honestly, unless it's a top 10, and I know my niche, I know my niche, I'm well aware of my niche. But unless it's a top 10, most people are not interested in my videos. And that's kind of one of the reasons I'm writing some top 10s right now, is not because I have to to make my channel survive, but uh, because I think I'm now just finally coming to the terms with the fact that I'm not going to get people into my channel unless I do those videos. Like, new people are not showing up for my Let's Plays. New people will show up to my channel for the top 10s and then maybe occasionally make it to my Let's Plays. Like, I know there's some people that pop into these anti series videos, and they're like, Hey, I just found your channel through your top ten, blah, blah, blah. Really like your content. Keep it up. And those are the comments that make me actually, like, well up inside. I'm like, this is actually emotional to me. Because it's like, you watched my top ten, you probably enjoyed it, and then you found my other shit by either the recommendations of YouTube's uh, recommendation tab. Like, if you like this video, watch this one. Or, God damn it, or... You just went to my channel page, which is what everybody should do. Just go to the channel page. Trust me, it's way better. I feel like Libra Ipecac is destroying my ears right now, and so I'm going to do a, the smart thing here, and I'm going to probably die uh, and lose the streak here. I'm going to actually turn my headset down. I don't think it's that loud in the game, and I'm hoping it's not, because that would make me feel like an asshole, but uh, I actually got to go back and buy that soul heart. It's not that far away. We're really fast anyway. But, uh... What was I talking about? I don't remember. Anyway, go subscribe to Jonas Fatson. That's that's what the moral of the story here is, guys. He's a good friend of mine. He's incredibly entertaining. That's, it's like, I'm not just pimping him out because he I want him to start making money from his videos. It's Or making money from his videos again. Because they took that privilege away from him. I get why they did it. I understand why they did it. I've made, I've had this conversation before with people. I understand why YouTube did it. It makes sense. And unless you were affected by it, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But at the same time, there's a lot of small creators who just don't have the right channel to fit the algorithm. And, like, I will say this again. I was insanely fortunate to have found the breakthrough that I did. My breakthrough happened with Hollow Knight and Afterbirth Plus launching. Those two game launches did more for my channel than anything else could have. Like, I made it big with Terraria a while ago, uh, and by made it big, I mean I got like 500 or five, you know, not 500, I got like 100 or 200 subscribers just from a, the, the, the videos that I did there. Uh, my top 10s were always kind of popular, 
and but and by with my top tens I release nowadays, they seem like they're not popular at all. But for my channel size back in the day, my top tens did not do poorly. Like I could release a top ten video and it'd get a couple hundred views, and that for a channel that has like 500 subs, getting a couple hundred views, that's pretty good. Uh, and then when you release a, a, a let's play video and it gets five views, your your morality, your more your, your morality, your uh, morale sinks to the depths of hell uh, because you realize that you spent 30 minutes of your life to granted to entertain potentially five people, which is not a bad thing. Like I, you know, that's not a bad thing at all. But it's just like it really does sink in. At that point, but what are they talking about? There's a lot of small creators out there that don't have the niche to break through like I did, or like someone like Alexa did, or Widzy did, and we all had our very critical moments. And I am 100%. I am fully aware of my moment. My moment was Hollow Knight release. I covered it early. I covered it the day before it released, and not only that, I played it through to completion, daily episodes up until. Uh, I beat it, and I did a basically nearly 100% run, I, and for doing it right on release, I am incredibly satisfied with that. I'm incredibly satisfied with the fact that I did that. That did wonders for me. Another one that did wonders for me was Afterbirth Plus releasing. I was always big with Isaac, and I'm, I'm not denying that. I know I'm, I've always had an, a, a very tight-knit Isaac audience because I've covered Isaac for fucking six years, guys. Like, Isaac did not start hitting my channel just when the Familiars video dropped. I've played multiple different series of it. I, I've always enjoyed Isaac. I've always streamed Isaac. Fuck, before the fucking top tens started blowing my channel up, I was streaming Isaac like nearly five days a week. Y'all were sleeping on this man. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, I am I I hit the stride there and I did what the smart YouTuber would do. And I think that that has propelled me into a very fortunate situation that I have that a lot of smaller creators don't have and I think that that move was I saw that opportunity and I ran with it, but I ran with it creatively enough to where I wasn't Losing my core fan base due to oversaturating the, the eyes of topic, but I was keeping it original enough to keep them here, you know? I wasn't just doing, you know, a top 10 video every week of just horrible phoned in bullshit. I was doing a top 10 every, you know, week or every other week that was well thought out, well scripted, well written, and granted pissed a lot of people off. I understand my opinions do not line up with a lot of people's, and they trigger some people and cause me to get a lot of death threats. And one of the reasons I left Isaac originally, but, uh... Funny enough, I took it and I ran with it, man. And that's what Jonas has been kind of waiting for. I mean, he's had some big videos. Like, a lot of- some of his indie coverage videos are pretty big for his channel size. His biggest video by far, leaps and bounds, is his uh, Cuphead video that he did. He ranked the Cuphead bosses, or he did a top 10 Cuphead bosses. That video has rivaled some of my videos, man. He It's got like 40-something, 40, 40, almost 50,000 views. Might even be over 50,000 views at this point. And like... That was a moment that he saw, and I know... I know... Jonas, you're not you're not hiding it from anybody. I know that for a fact he he saw that video success. He got it to nearly like ten thousand views in its first week, twenty thousand views at the end of its second week, and it continued to spiral out of control from there. And I know he ran with that. He released another cuphead video shortly after that. He released a, a tips and tricks style video, I think, what is what it was, uh, on Cuphead or I actually don't remember what it was. But he released a, uh, another Cuphead video. And in the, in, the, in, in the grand scheme of things, that was a smart idea to do. But then when that video didn't do nearly as well as he would have expected it to do, I don't know if he... How do I say this without... I love the guy, but I don't, I don't know if he actually pushed himself to that next level. Because that's what I did with Isaac, man. I did a video, I realized that that video didn't do very well, even though it should have done very well because of the way that Isaac did on my channel. However, 
when a video didn't do well, and there's a couple of them that didn't do well by my uh, channel standards, you know, obviously Familiars blew up, Transformations blew up, Angel Deals blew up, Devil Deals blew up, and now, right now, the Gungeon videos are exploding, thanks to Advanced Gungeons and Dragons coming out. Thank you, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, for coming out at that perfect time, uh, to blow those videos out of the fucking stratosphere. I think the Gungeons... Ranking Gungeoneers video has gotten, like, 38,000 views in the past, like, two weeks. Lodestone is amazing. To put, that in compar to put that into comparison, my Transformations video has been out for almost a year and a half now. And it has four, almost 400,000 views. So, 38,000 views in, like... Nine days or eight days, nine days or ten days or whatever it was. Might even be longer. I might just be losing track of time, guys. I just might be losing track of time. It might be longer than that. But anyway, it, it's still, it's like blew up. It's been blowing up. And I, I. That's what I mean. Is like that video did well on its original launch, but now it's starting to blow up again due to the fact that Gungeons and Dragons came out. And so here's my thought process on Jonas's Cuphead videos. I think once the Cuphead DLC comes out, it's gonna jump in that algorithm, and his video is gonna start getting a little pop off, a little more additional fuel, if you know what I'm saying. But you know what would help that along? If when that fuel pops off, he's getting paid to do it. You know where this is going. Sub to that man. Sub to that man. Show him some love, guys. I'm not even joking with you. I'm, I'm literally like the anti-joke right now. You think this is just me being like, oh, he just wants to support his friend. No, I'm, I'm actually like saying, just sub to the guy. I, I can say this with confidence because I've promoted a lot of people on this platform, a lot of people on Twitch that have, and I, this is going to sound horribly cocky, and you know what? Goddamn right it's cocky because I believe in it. I'm like, not responsible because that word sounds overly cocky, but I'm a fairly large hand in many of my streamer and YouTuber colleagues' communities growing exponentially. And I get it. Penta, why do you say that? Why would you say that? That sounds so snarky. That sounds so self-centered. It's not meant to be self-centered. It's because I believe in them and I promote them. That's where that comes from. It's not that I'm trying to, like puff myself up and puff my chest and say you wouldn't exist if it wasn't for me that's not at all what I'm saying what I'm saying is word of mouth and networking is one of the biggest ways to grow something and I don't want to sound over there cocky again I have a pretty large network of people I have done a very good job in the past three, four years of surrounding myself with streamers, YouTubers of various sizes that, while I don't do a lot of videos with them, per se, because I didn't really do a lot of collabs in my many phases of YouTube, or even streams, I really, really don't collab with people. I don't like playing games with people. I'm a solo guy. I like to play things by myself, but I will always promote people who, whose content I enjoy. Jonas is one of those people. When I first came across him, he was streaming on Twitch and had negative 10 viewers. I know it's not a, that's a fake number, but it's meant to show off the, uh, the exaggeratory sequence. He had, like, negative 10 viewers. And I've been there. I've been the guy who streamed by himself. I did that for years, not years, but I did that for a long time. Streaming by yourself is not fun. And so I just hung out in his chat and I watched him play Isaac. Watched him stream Isaac for, like, a month before I even said anything in chat. And then I started talking in chat, and I started talking to him, and this is what you do. This is proper networking. Do not go into someone's chat and say, hey, I'm a streamer as well. This is my channel. You should come watch me. I play this game too. That's not, that's not networking. He didn't know I was a streamer until probably, like, three or four weeks after I started, like, being around his channel. And then, you know, a short while later... I uh, started just hosting him. I just started hosting him. I didn't raid him. I didn't, you know, send all my viewers over there. I just started hosting him while I wasn't live. And uh, after a while, I started seeing, you know, one, two, three additional people every now and then in his chat hanging out, having fun. Maybe not talking, maybe just, like, lurking and, you know, seeing what... Why, why is Penta hosting this guy? And 
then, you know, several weeks later, I started actually, like, raiding him, raiding hosting, like, actually sending people after my post stream, sending people, that's what a raid is on Twitch, you post stream, when your stream is about to finish up, you take all the people that are in your chat, and you just go over to another chat who you're friends with, and you just raid their chat, you go into their chat, you spam emotes, you cause chaos, you say hi, everybody who doesn't follow the channel follows the channel, it's one of the best, like, wholesome, wholesome like, things on Twitch, is a, is a, is a good proper raid. And, uh, slowly but surely, and I'm not saying it happened overnight, because nothing happens overnight on Twitch or YouTube, uh, but, uh, after about a month of me hosting him and just hanging out with my guys in his chat, usually what'll happen is, you know, people show up to your stream for you and you only, and when your stream is over, they have other shit to do that's better than watching around seeing some Canadian, you know, say A constantly, so... They'll usually, like, they'll join the host, and then they'll just immediately leave. That's like, 90% of your raid is gone by the time you actually get to the channel and start talking. And, uh, that's what it was for a couple weeks with him. But then, slowly but surely, over time, people started sticking, people started, you know, popping in chat and saying, Hey Jonas, how you doing, bud? And, you know, having conversations and keeping them company, and when I tuned out, they stayed there and hung out and had fun, and, you know... It goes for a couple of my other streamer buddies, a couple of my other YouTuber buddies. Like, you help grow each other, but... And again, this is not trying to sound overly cocky here, but... When you're a sizable amount of influence different from somebody else... Jonas has sent people to my channel, and I'm perfectly thankful for that. Equally thankful, if anything. Uh, but there's a, a difference between sending a couple people over who hang out and... Maybe even become regulars of your channel. Like, I've got people that were sent over from him and Vlad and Alexa and all that shit that are now regulars of my channel. And I love that. But when you... There's a difference between when you're streaming for, like, 15, 20 people on, on the average night and you gain one extra person. And when you're streaming for zero to one people every night. Or three people every night. And all of a sudden you boost up to, like, seven, eight people every night. That's a, like... As numbers get bigger on Twitch, they become less meaningful, and I hate to say that, but if there's not much difference between 800,000 followers and a million followers. Not much difference at all. There's a massive difference between 10 followers and 100 followers. That's just the way numbers work. As numbers peak and get bigger, they start meaning less. And that's kind of why, like, I'm at nearly 17,000 subs on YouTube, but I don't feel any better than, or I don't feel nearly as good as when I hit a thousand, or when I hit fucking a hundred for the first time. Dude, I was, I lost my shit when I hit a hundred. I lost my shit when I hit 250. I lost my shit when I hit 500. I lost my shit when I hit a, you know, a thousand. I lost my shit when I hit 5,000. Most of you were here for those. But as numbers get bigger, they start to mean less, and that's kind of why, with the, with, with the thing like with Jonas, or Vlad, or Phoenix, or any of the guys that I support on my on my, on my, in my, in my crew, if you will, in my, in my selection of colleagues around me, or Surix, or fucking anybody in me, Widzy, any of these guys that I surround myself with. As the numbers get bigger, they start to mean less, so increasing somebody's follower count or viewer count by one or two feels a lot worse than actually having a concurrent chat, having a small but loving community around you, if not every night, most nights, and we just didn't lose the streak. My God. Oh my god, I actually got so quiet there, I'm so sorry, I was in the middle of a tangent and I lost it. I still kinda lost it, but it's all okay, cause we're still alive. So live chat, I nearly died there for a second, and I don't mean in the game, which is also true, but I meant in real life, I almost had a cataclysmic heart attack.
All right, I'm going to get quiet for this fight. Y'all need to understand that this fight is going to kill me because I don't know how much health I have. I believe I'm at one and a half. I'd like to believe I'm at one and a half. One red and maybe a half a spirit heart, but it might be one and a half red hearts. It might be one red heart. Who knows? I almost just died there. I can guarantee it. That was a death. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, good support, John. That's Jonas Fatson. I'm not going to sit here and say that I basically created his community and made the community around him, but any day I'm in someone's chat and I know 90% of the people there, or for instance, you know, the people who are sub to him, we did have one and a half HP as well. The people who are sub to him are people that I were sent over from my channel. Fucking Christ. I've had more people leave my channel to watch someone else that I introduced them to than I care to admit. Some of my favorite people in my channel don't ever watch me anymore, but they watch people that I introduce them to. And that's A, awesome. I'll say it's awesome. I'll, I'll say, like, I'm not, I'm not that selfish. It's awesome. I love that. But at the same time, it kind of hurts a little bit. You're like, why don't they watch me anymore? I regret hosting that bastard. You know, stuff like that. It's like silly, silly friendship rivalry. But, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. It doesn't matter. Go, su go support Jonas Fats and follow him on uh, YouTube. St 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 subscribe to him on YouTube. Not follow. Subscribe on YouTube. Give him the ability to monetize his videos. That's what this entire video is about. Is just monetizing Jonas's videos because if he monetizes his videos, I'm gonna go to the secret room. I'm gonna go to the secret room, guys. I think this is a good idea. I'm gonna go to the secret room and hope for a magic mush or a full health pill. I was kidding, but I'm so happy. I was kidding, but I'm so actually beyond happy right now. That was bad. That was just dumbness on my part. Um, so that's the win, I'd like to say. But, uh, yeah, this is Jonas Fatson's Fatson video. I already have a video called Jonas Fatson, so I don't know. I'm probably just going to call this one Canada. Which will just give him a reason to actually watch it. Let's be honest. No YouTuber watches their YouTuber friends videos. I mean, I actually do. I hate that stigma. And I stick by that stigma actually hilarious. Because, like, most people will admit, Yeah, I, I wish I could watch every one of their videos, but I don't watch all of them. I actually watch a surprising amount of my friends' videos. In fact, a large part of my YouTube viewing is trying to just, like, kind of keep up with their videos. Because I do step that extra step further when it comes to supporting people. I actually watch, you know, a, a, a large amount of Jonas's videos when he made videos. I watch a large amount of Alexa's videos when he made, you know, good videos and wasn't doing fucking Fortnite. I watch a large amount of Woodsy's videos when he does videos. I do try my absolute best to keep up with people because, a, sometimes they say hilarious shit in their comment or in their videos that I can make fun of them for in the comments or during a live stream. You know, sometimes they are actually good at a game and I can congratulate them and. By that, I basically just mean Widzy, because everybody else is terrible at games. Um, dude, where's my Lodestone Tears? Does Lodestone not work on Blue Baby? Of course it works on Blue Baby. What the fuck's going on? Anyway, subscribe to Jonas Fatson. YouTube.com slash Jonas Fatson. Get him to 1,000 subs. He only needs like 150 subs or, you know... Maybe not even that many by this point. He doesn't need that much. 54 wins in a row. Thank you guys so much for watching. Switch.tv slash Jonas Fatson. YouTube.com slash Jonas Fatson. Catch you later.